Hey, what's up, Nerd Squad? We're back with another NFL video. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment. And let's jump right into it. Today, we're going to be doing the New York Giants record prediction for 2020. Uh, we've already done the Cardinals, Jets, and Broncos. Make sure to check those out after you finish watching this. And again, leave a thumbs up. And let's jump right into it. Week one, they'll be kicking off uh, with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They'll be playing in New York. It'll be a home game. I think it'll be a pretty fun game to see how, uh, how Saquon Barkley starts the season. I think the Steelers are going to go ahead and take it. I think the Giants defense is still, still kind of... Uh, rebuilding uh, their offense is still still questionable um they only have a few you know pretty decent receivers right now so their their offense is going to be kind of questionable as well so i think i think the steelers will take this one week 2 they'll be playing the bears this one i think will be a pretty defensive battle i definitely think the giants have the better offense but the bears have a much better defense um, it'll be interesting to see how Mitch Trubisky bounces back. I personally don't really think he will. Um, I don't know if Nick Foles will be, will be starting out either. I think the Giants are gonna, are gonna take this one just cause they have, you know, a more for sure quarterback, you know, Saquon Barkley is still, you know, one of the best in the league. Um, I think all around, I think the Giants are, are more prepared for this for this game. Uh, week 3, they'll be, they'll be playing the 49ers in New York. It'll be a home game. I think this will be actually quite a bit closer than people think. Um, I feel like the Giants would actually do a pretty decent job at, at stopping the 49ers. I feel like their run defense is better than their, than their pass defense. Um... I do still think the 49ers will take it, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, a huge blowout. Week four, the Giants will be playing the Rams, and I've mentioned before, I do really think the Rams will take a step down in 2020. Um, they lost a lot of key players. This will be a fun game. I feel like it'll have a lot of points put up. I, th I feel like each team will put up 25 or more points each. I think the Rams will ultimately come out on top. Um, I do think Cam Akers will be at, le at least a pretty decent running back for them. Pretty good rookie. Um, they still have very good receivers in Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. I don't think the Giants' secondary is quite uh equipped enough to handle them and you know jared goff it'll be a fun game i think it'll be close but i think the rams take it uh week five we have the giants and cowboys now this one this one's hard for me giants and cowboys games are super difficult for me to predict um, it seems like whenever I say that, you know, the Giants are playing well in Dallas, they start playing badly and vice versa. I feel like the Giants will take this one in Dallas. However, late, late in the season, ending off the season, I feel like Dallas will get their revenge in New York. So I think they'll go one and one. Um, I could see it be flip-flopped um but th this is definitely a really hard game to predict now i'll say this right here with the rebuild that the redskins are going through i don't feel like they're gonna do super great in 2020 to say the least i genuinely believe that the giants can sweep the redskins um, I also believe the Giants will go 1-1 one and one with the Eagles. This one's kind of hard to predict where the wins will come. I think Eagles will win at first, but then when they play again week 10, the Giants will get their revenge and, you know, they'll be 1-1 one and one there. Week 8, they'll be playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, 
I'm the first to say I feel like Tom Brady and Gronk going to Tampa Bay may be a little overhyped. It'll still be it'll still be, you know, a really, really good offense. I'm not trying to say that they're gonna suck, but I do think they'll be overrated a little bit. However, that Buccaneers defense, I feel like, is the real slept on piece for Tampa Bay. Their defense has quietly been honestly becoming a very, very high rated defense in the league. Their run defense was easily top three in 2019. Their secondary is getting better. I I just I feel like the Bucks will win this. I could still see it, it being a relatively high scoring game. But the Bucks defense has just gotten so much better, and I, I don't think the Giants are going to be prepared for that. Um, the Bucks completely shut down Saquon Barkley when they played last year. And yes, that was when Saquon was healthy, and they just they completely shut him down. I, I don't see the Giants winning this one. Um, Jumping up to week 12, after the bye week, the Giants will be playing the Bengals in Cincinnati. I do think the Giants will take this one. Um, the Giants, I feel like, are further along in their so-called rebuild than the Bengals are. Um, the Bengals obviously got Joe Burrow. Um, T. Higgins, I think, was a good addition. They did, they did get some good defensive pieces, but... I feel like they're still in that rebuild stage, and I don't really think the Bengals are really going to try to win now yet. I think they're going to have another you know, rough year of winning two or three or four, possibly five games. Um, but next year, I feel like, is when they're really going to try to put up some wins and see how capable they are. So, the Giants will take that one. Then week 13, the Giants will be playing the Seahawks. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but running backs tend to kind of destroy the Seahawks. Um, I know at least Christian McCaffrey, each time he's played them, he's ran all over them. The Seahawks really just don't have that great of a run defense. Um, I know there's a lot of Seahawks fans out there that watch my videos, and I'm sorry to say that, but their run defense just really isn't very good. Um, I feel like the Giants are coming into this game ready to run it down the Seahawks' throats. I think this will be, honestly, the upset of that week, as well as possibly one of the upsets of the year. Um, I think it'll be a surprising game. Uh, week 14, I predicted the Cardinals to win that. Again, make sure to go check out the Cardinals prediction after this video. Um, that one actually blew up quite a bit. A lot of people have liked it. Make sure to go check that out. Uh, then week 15, we have the Browns playing at the Giants. I think that Baker Mayfield and Odell will have a stronger connection in 2020. Um, Nick Chubb is a very underrated running back. In my opinion, he's still a top five running back. Um, I don't really see the Giants winning this. I'm not saying the Browns are a top tier team, but just looking at all of the one-on-one -on -one matchups, I just, I, I feel like the Browns win just about every matchup there and ultimately are a better team. So I think the Browns take this one. Giants currently are 7-8 and eight and they'll be finishing off this, well, second to last game of the season. They'll be playing the Ravens and I'm sorry, I, I can't bring myself to even say the Giants are going to win this. Um, the, Raven, the Ravens are taking this 100%. Um, I, th there, there's no way I can see it going any differently, but I have the Giants going seven and nine. Um, 
there are a few really difficult games in there with the Steelers, 49ers, um, Bucks could be a really rough game, you know, Seahawks, um, and Ravens, obviously. Uh, plus, the Eagles and Cowboys are pretty good divisional rivals. It'll be a rough season. I think the Giants are on the right track. I I think their ceiling is about nine and seven. Their floor is about five and eleven or six and ten. I think they go seven and nine. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think they will go better than seven and nine? Do you think they will lose more games than seven and nine? What are your predictions? Was I spot on with this? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Later.